In this video I'm going to show you how to make some Dolce Sightwear bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer which you can download from bingocardprinter.com In case you don't know, Dolce Sightwear is uh, uh, words that uh, children must need to learn to recognise by sight in order to achieve reading fluency. They're usually words that can't be sounded out and the list um, is named Dolce after Dolce, uh, Dr. Dolce who created the original list in 1948 uh, and actually subdivided into several categories, which we'll see in a minute. I'll um, first of all click Create New Bingo Card Project, which is um, allows me to choose what kind of bingo card I'd like to create. I can choose a blank one, enter my own words. I can choose an alphabet bingo card, uh, numbers, choose school subjects, English, geography, history, science, math, um, events, which include baby showers, bridal showers, birthdays, holidays like Christmas and Halloween and so forth, languages, French and German, Spanish. Uh, but I want to do reading, so I'll click uh, reading here and I'll see the options rating for Dolph Sight Words. Uh, have, um, in fact, the first six um, items correspond to the six categories of Dolph Sight Words uh, that uh, Dr. Dolph devised back in 1948. Uh, first of all, there are the service words, which are subdivided in five subcategories pre primer level, primer level, uh, first grade, second grade, third grade. These are all common words, including. Um, verbs, adverbs, uh, prepositions, conjunctions, and so forth, and then he made a separate list of nouns, which is the sixth category. Um, and so what I do is I simply select the one I want. For example, if I wanted first grade, I'd click on it. I can then uh, either double click on it or click on it and click OK. And there's uh, the list of first grade Dolph sight words. Um, this is uh, the sample bingo card. If I wanted to edit the list, perhaps uh, customize it, starting from the Dolph Sight words, I could add another word by typing it in here. I can also select words and delete them, just press and delete, although I won't do that uh, right now. I can um, see my sample bingo card here. I can change the uh, size of the bingo card, make it 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, which is what I started with in the case. A larger one, such as 6x6. Or even a 7x7. Seven seven. Obviously, I um, need to have enough words to fill out the bingo card. There isn't quite enough for a 7x7. Seven seven. I'd have to add some more words or choose a smaller size. So I'll stick to 5x5. Five five. Um, I can also change the um, heading if I want. I can uh, just turn it on or off. I can change the word on the heading. So for example, I'll change it to be words. Um, I can change whether or not to have the special free space square in the center of the card. And again, I could change the text for that if I wanted to. I can change the fonts and colors here. Um, so let's just, for example, we'll make uh, uh, the heading uh, dark blue with uh, white writing. And we'll make this uh, free space where we'll make that uh, pink. And we'll make a checkerboard of squares on the other squares. We'll make them white and yellow, for example. And if I click OK, there's my uh, finger card, which I've now colored. I could also change the um, fonts as well for the heading and the free space and the other squares um, individually. But I'll leave those as they are for now. Um, now you can also see in the sample bingo card the words here are in the same order as on this list, in this case in alphabetical order. Um, but in the real bingo cards, as you'll see in a moment, every bingo card will contain a different uh, combination of words in a different random order. So okay, I'm, I'm happy with that design now, happy with my word list, I'm now ready to print. So we'll look at the options relating to printing. First option is print call list, which I can turn off if I don't want, or I can leave it on. What it tells is it tells the software to print out um, an extra page or pages with this list of words in random order for use as bingo caller, uh, which is very useful if you're using uh, the bingo cards in a classroom situation. You're the teacher and you want a printed reference to the words that you're going to call out. Use the call list. Um, there is another feature in the software, which I'll show you at the end of the video, that allows you to um, choose items at random view in gameplay or the software will help you choose items at random view in gameplay without printing out a call list in advance. Um, so anyway, that option is there if you want it. I'll leave it on in my demonstration so you can see what the call list looks like. Second option is how many bingo cards to print per page. I can put more than one bingo card on the page, which is very useful if I'm printing a lot of bingo cards, print several on the page, cut the paper up, and I've saved paper. The disadvantage is obviously I have to spend a little bit of time cutting the paper up. Um, and the second disadvantage is the bingo cards will each be smaller. If I put four on a page, each individual bingo card won't be as big as if I put one on a page. But I'll leave it on one for my demonstration. And the third option, how many different bingo cards do I need? 
Um, I remember every bingo card will contain different combinations of words in different random order. Put as many as I might need in my class, for example. Uh, I can put in one, I can put in ten, I can put in a hundred, I can put any number up to 9,999. So I'll say, for example, I have uh, 50 students in my class, rather a large class, but we'll say that's the right number. Now ready to print. I'll do print preview so you can see on screen what the printout would look like. The first page is a call list, that's a list of words uh, in random order. And I'll zoom out so you can see the whole page, and then I'll go next so you can see the first bingo card here. There the um, words are laid out on bingo cards at random, in a random order. But in next you'll see the second bingo card is different, and next is the third one is different, and so on up to all 50 that I've got. Okay, um, that's it for printing the bingo cards. I'll just show you this other option I mentioned as well, um, called Call Game. What that does is it allows you to choose items at random during the game without knowing in advance what they are. It's an alternative to using the call list. What the software does, picks one item at random, in this case May, shows it on the right-hand side, and it shows the current item and any previous items on the left-hand side. So when I click Next, it will choose a new current item here, and it shows Stop is the uh, current item, May was the previous item, so the third item, the fourth item, and so on. Eventually, a scroll bar will appear after I've got enough items on the in the list. Um, so it's another way that you can uh, choose items if you're taking the role of Bingo Caller. Okay, that's it for this video. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. Download it from bingocardprinter.com. It's compatible with all recent versions of Windows. There is a free trial version, and if you like it, you can register and upgrade to the full version of the software, which allows you to do everything in this video. Both the free trial and the registered version of the software, software come with hundreds of ready to use Bingo. Uh, templates of bingo activities to get you started, which you can either use as they are, or um, you can edit to make your own customized bingo activities, or you can enter your own word lists and create a bingo activity that is completely unique to you. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go to bingocardprinter.com, download the free trial, try it out, and see what you think. Thank you.